Good morning, everyone. The last few days, we've been reading lots of informational text on mammals. We've filled up our brains with lots of key details and cool facts about different kinds of animals. And today we want to share our learning by writing an informational piece about a mammal. So before we do our writing though, we have to talk about how we organize our thinking. We organize our thinking so that our writing will be clear for the person that is reading it. And so the very um, first thing that we're gonna learn about is how to write a topic sentence. Let's look at our learning intention for today. Our learning intention is, I am learning how to introduce a topic by writing a topic sentence. Topic sentence. Boys and girls, what a topic sentence is, is that one super important sentence that tells the reader what the main idea about our writing is. We don't ever want our reader to be confused about what our writing is, and we're certainly not just going to list a bunch of facts in our writing. So we're going to organize it in a way that the reader makes sense of it. And the best way to do that is by writing a really strong topic sentence to tell them what they're gonna be reading about. Here's our success criteria. I know I have done this when the reader knows what my writing is about after reading my topic sentence. So boys and girls, yesterday we read that book on fat and we pulled out lots of key details. I went ahead and wrote some of the key details that you learned about and here are some of the things that you said were interesting about facts, about bats. They're flying mammals. They eat insects, fruit, and fish. They're nocturnal. We learned what that word meant. And they use echolocation. Remember, echolocation is how they use sound waves to see where predators are and how to, how to catch their food. So, I want to put this in a, in a paragraph to teach others about bats. But let's think about what my topic sentence is going to be. Remember that a topic sentence tells our reader what they're going to be reading about. So if I want my reader to know that they're going to be learning about bats, my topic sentence might not necessarily give all these facts, but just introduce the main idea to my reader. Hmm. Let me think about this. I think I'm going to write, there are lots of interesting things to know about facts. All right, let me read that again. There are lots of interesting things to know about bats. When I look at that sentence, boys and girls, I want it to give my reader a clue as to what the rest of my writing is going to be. The rest of my writing is going to have sentences that include these cool facts and key details that we pulled from the book, but we want to make sure to start it off with a sentence that they know what they're going to be reading about. So let's read it one more time together. There are lots of interesting things to know about bats. Let's go back and look at our success criteria. I know I have done this when the reader knows what my writing is about after reading my topic sentence. I think if somebody reads this sentence, they will surely know that the topic about my, of my writing is going to be bats. So boys and girls, I want you to pick a mammal and we're gonna work on writing a topic sentence for the rest of our writing. 